Hey everyone, <laughs> and we're back. And then we're I walked through a door, <laughs> and this happened. It's gonna be like this. Sure, this seems like a good place to rest. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's Lisa, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting haunted by Lisa. Oh, they're still here. How much? I better not lost like my full heels and shit. You did. You lost two, three pa fancy perfumes. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh shit. We can buy those from that guy, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll get some more later. Okay. <clears throat> Between episodes, we and Carter stocked up a bunch of shit. I sold like pretty much all my extra items. Yeah. Oh hey, what's cool. this dude? <laughs> it looks satisfying. So, who's your favorite droid mutant? Remember the one in the cave? That one's my favorite. Henry Wyatt? Yeah, he was weird. Is that all I went through there for? Yeah. It's fucking weird. Okay, cool. Well, we know there's a campsite there. Yeah. All right, uh, cool. Ugh. I think my favorite was Danny Sexbank. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where the hell? Watch out for Solid Snake. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, I was not going to doubt you thought it was true. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, where are the um, barrel bros in the refrigerator, man? <laughs> what the hell? What? What is the music? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it's what? Ah, fuck, I can't remember his name. It's Jared Leto. <laughs> That's what, uh... The guy who made the game says if he was, like, played. <laughs> Your party has been wrecked. The fuck? Man! <laughs> Man! <laughs> you fucking asshat! <laughs> fuck, I can't take any of these jumps. Well, they won't go below 1 HP, right? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shit. I think I need to be off my bike to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's, he said he'd look like Heath Ledger, if, like, he, you, you know, the Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah, That's, I, I know what you mean. Ah, fuck. It was crazy. I don't remember his name. It's Jared. something stupid. It's not Buffalo Van Dyke. That is a guy, though. What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> this, this is fucking weird. <laughs> Welcome to fucking Lisa. <laughs> I'm gonna rest here really fast. So I'm gonna get robbed again. Hopefully a party member doesn't just decide to leave. <laughs> what the fuck you do to me? I think that's called getting creeped on. You get back here, you little bitch. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's weird as shit. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, fuck, right before this episode started, I fucking I was like, hey, Carter, and it's a short story, right? <laughs> Yeah. Because I wanted to tell a little anecdote and fucking all that happened. Alright, what's your um, anecdote? So I've been you know, I've been playing Splatoon 2 recently. Yes. I've also been playing some CSGO recently. He actually isn't a big fan of Splatoon, but he plays it with his little cousin. Okay. <laughs> we can we can say that. <laughs> uh, I am a big fan of Splatoon, not like huge fan. Um I like the game, it's really fun. So that guy just fucking explode on me? Yeah. Weird. Um but yeah, it's more of a story of how, like, um, in general, you know, I spent a lot of time playing video games. Holy shit. So, um, you know, I, get, I, I tend to get pretty good at video games, because, you know, you spend a lot of time playing them. You're yeah. Obviously gonna get good. So, um, usually when I play, um, usually when I play, like, any type of team-based game, I usually don't like team-based games, because I usually do the best in my team at those games. I, I don't know I told you the story before, Carter, and I, I fucking hate saying this, you know? You won't budge. But, um... Yeah, usually I'm playing team-based games. I always get, like, top seed on my team or, like, top uh, Oh, you placement. get to jump out the window. You've made hell become my reality. And now I do this. Boom. Yeah. I'm smart as shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's um, that's usually why it's really stressful for me to try to, like, you know, play team-based games. Cause oh, this is a puzzle. That's neat. Not cool. <laughs> he just pulled a gun. Yeah, Yo, yeah. bro, what the fuck? Oh, he has enough. Okay. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I usually, you know, I, I get top on my team and stuff like that. 
And same with Splatoon, same with, um... Oh, shit. Same with, uh, you know, games like that. Which is, um, another reason... Which is one of the reasons why um, I stopped playing For Honor. Yeah. Because, um, I played Orochi, and I played, uh... I played a lot of the 4v4 modes, because, you know, 1v1 modes suck in For Honor, because they're all really boring. And, uh, if you play For Honor and you disagree with me, uh, why don't you go wash back your mode and look at how many time you spent not playing the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Because For Honor is just kind of that a lot. Because, you know, well, For Honor kind of got shitty once people figured out the way to beat the game was to not attack first. <laughs> and if no one attacks first, no one ever attacks, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's why I stopped playing For Honor, because I went to the 44s, and I always, I always, I always, like, fucking hard carried my team and shit like that. So it was, you know, it's, you know, it gets stressful. Yeah. You know, like, every game you play, you have to carry. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to always be carrying, you know? And um, I thought that's what Splatoon 2 was going to be because for the first couple of matches, like, I only got, like, top scores on my team and shit like that. Luckily, there's a shit ton of other game modes or stuff like that that I've had a lot of fun with. But that's actually not my story. What is this? Three? Oh, okay, I get it. Hey. Hey. Hey, look, there's the guy again. Oh, hey, shit. There's uh, Jared Little Joker again. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, hey. Holy shit. It's a 37 boost. It's a lot of money, though. Uh, welcome to Zen for Christmas is Barn Beyond Me. That sucks. Brad, like, can't. <laughs> Brad has no use for any of this stuff anymore. Combat Knife's the best, second best weapon in the game for carp. Uh, should I get that now, just in case? No. Cool. Well, that's all I can get because Brad doesn't have any bands. Uh, you know that knife you found at the beginning? Yeah. That that was the best weapon in the game for card. Yeah. It's usually stuff like that in these games. Alright, I need to go to three then. What I was expecting, the reason I wanted to do is I was expecting three to like launch me like fucking off the map or some shit. <laughs> I mean, it probably still will. No, it goes to area three. Oh, yeah, see right there. I'm smart at the Vigi games. I don't even know if we have enough bottles for soup. Yeah, let's say we haven't been using a lot of empty bottles. Ow. Okay, so we need to do that. Um, but yeah, so. Like, you know, Splatoon has been like that for me, but. So, you know, I spent, you know, games I spent a lot of time. It's pretty easy for me to, you know, get good at them. So, um. I have not been playing a lot of Overwatch recently, but, um, you know, they, they introduced, like, a roll queue system, basically. Yeah. Where it's, like, um, where you, where you can queue up with a random set of teammates. And, uh, fucking... Some... Shit, I didn't... Yeah. yeah. You fucked up. Continue. Yeah, fuck. Okay, um... But, yeah, so... Some people, like, that make teams are very fucking annoying about it, because they're, like, very, like, picky. It's like, oh, you need to do this and this on my team. So, um, I queued up for the role of Flex, which is, um... Well, hold on. What I was going to say is um, Overwatch used to be like that for me. Overwatch didn't used to be like that for me because, you know, I only play the killer and shit like that. But now that I play, like, tank and damage, I'm pretty much always getting, like, goals on my team and stuff like that. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Science rules. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so pretty much nowadays I always get, like, goals and shit like that on my team. Um, Do they just reset? Yep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I, I was, uh, I was playing with my friend, uh, Max, Vigilante, and, uh, we were queuing up for roll queue. It's Hawk. Is it? What? No, no that's who it is. What? Rock Hawk. That's who the cardboard cutout is. From Paper Mario? No, from this. Or the giant faces? Yeah. That's who it is. It's Hawk. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why what? Oh, is that the dude? Are we gonna meet him later? Yeah, probably. Okay. I was like, why does his name have any meaning? Did we do all that just for a bottle? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah. Continue, there, though. There, there's multiple stories about me just fucking having to deal with shitheads on, like, making teams like that. Because, like, you join the team and, like, they decide if they want to kick you or not. And a lot of them are, like, you know. A lot of people are very generous. So, like, you know, just have your just have your profile public. Fucking, you know what Overwatch did? In a new update, they made it to where your profile is automatically private, and you have to go to the settings to make it public so people can see your shit. Why? I don't know. Because um, what you would do a lot of the time is um, if someone's playing a character that, you know, they're not main, you just go to their profile and see if they played a lot of them. So you'd see, like, hey, dude, can you switch off? You know, like, look at my profile. I played, like, you know, 
a million hours of Genji, you pay two. <laughs> so let me try this. Let me try this character. So I guess they did it so people wouldn't get, get you know have people look at the profile all the time. But um, there's actually a really funny story for this week. Um, my friend, my friend Vigilante, we hadn't played the game for a while. And we were just coming back into it. Yeah. And we joined. Um, we joined this guy's party. He's like, "Hey, can you make your profile pu- pr- uh, public?" And he's like, oh, "How do I do that?" Because you know he didn't know how to do it because he hadn't been playing the game for a while. And he made it public, and the dude's like, eh, he's like, you knew the game? He's like, I haven't played it in a while, but I had. So he kicked my friend immediately upon hearing that. It's just, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm getting, I, I haven't played the game in a while. I'll come back. And he immediately kicked him. I was kind of like, you fucking piece of shit. So then I had to leave, and I was like, okay, let's find a new party thing. <laughs> You're not, but too bad, too bad, because here it is, baby. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Is this Hawk? <laughs> that is Hawk. I like him. You gotta admire him. Boss? Shh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Suck this in. On pain mode, he's a uh, joy mutant, and he's got a really long neck, and his cape is hanging off, so he looks like a flagpole. <laughs> what the fuck? And he killed all those guys. That's enough, Grandpa. See this face? It's the gosh damn apocalypse, baby. And my face is still smooth in your bald head. I am perfection. I thought you were going to say... You suck, ugly suck, boy. (laughs) The hardest decisions. (laughs) This is the hardest decision Alejandro's had to make so far. Actually is. (laughs) Um, I thought you were going to say that on, on a hard mode, he just stands there for even longer. <laughs> it, it just soft locks your game right there. <laughs> You're just fucked. How have you brought sandals, baby? Because this beach is heated. Hate it. Yeah, I was about to say, fight me, bitch. Oh, Hawks. shit, we're pretty low. <laughs> Hawks no wuss. Yeah. Hawk Hollywood. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's hope he doesn't kill Brad. Whoa! Whoa. Wait, what does cool do? I don't think that actually does anything. Oh, cool. Is this guy a pushover then? I don't think he's a pushover. Oh, it heals him. Oh, no. Just do this then. Oh, he's not that strong. Let's see. Okay, we can, de- we can de-poison him, so we know, at least we know someone how his attack pool is. Yeah. Uh, fuck, he didn't get, like, he didn't take any poison damage right there. Uh, birdie. And then you swing. Oh, he lost his oil dot. So he's poison and de-poison. Now we just gotta re-oil him. Come on. Uh, so he took, um... That's a decent amount of deep boys and damage. Yeah. So he has a he's a pretty decent health pool. Let's try big bomb arrow. No, he's faster, so we should do mega rapid arrow. A deep poison does four percent. Four percent. And poison does two percent. So what is it like? Around two thousand was four percent. Yeah. So that's a big chunk of health. What does fear do? He's got at least 50,000 health. What does fear do? I think, uh, hold on, I've got a list of sass effects. Yeah, boys, we're not a bunch of fucking idiots who are gonna sit around and not look up what stuff does. <laughs> hey, man, the Hollywood hustle. Holy shit! What? Remember the iron thing I told yeah. you about? That blocks 90% of damage. Holy shit. Is there a way for us to get that ability? I think Bo Wyatt does it. Holy shit. That's really good. He regains 6% of his HP every turn with super cool on. And f- poison and deep poison negate that, basically. Yes. Okay, cool. So we gotta keep both those up on him. I can't find fear. Maybe that's fear. None of these are named. This isn't a mobile site. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I was saying, there's there was another time where um, 
So, you know, I don't play a lot of Overwatch. Which some people play a lot of Overwatch. And Get him I'm with not... the deep poison. Isn't he already deep poison? No, look. Look at his status effects. Is that not deep Purple poison? Purple is deep poison. Oh, okay. Um, but some people play, like, you know, a lot of Overwatch. And I'm not one of them. Um, so I was playing this guy's competitive group, and I queued up for, um, because you know, I can play every character, because Overwatch is really easy characters, and if you don't think that's true, You're there's wrong. no saving you. <laughs> um, but yeah, Overwatch is, Overwatch is really easy to learn characters. He didn't so I, I queued up for, I queued up for, um, I queued up for this guy, and I was also with my friend, uh, I was also with my friend Vigilante again. Yeah. And, um, I queued up for, um, like I said, what was I gonna say? Um, for... Flex, so you know, I can play any character. And this bitch legit looked at my recent plays, which keep in mind, at that point I played like one or two hours of rank that season. Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, um, <laughs> hard times, daddy's hard times. He's like, oh, because um, he kicked me from that role because I guess my I hadn't have enough flex in my fucking rank. <laughs> I joined Reebag and I was like, dude, why just kick me? He's like, oh, this is this. And I was like, bitch, I can play every single character in this game. They're all easy. <laughs> And he fucking had the others be like, oh, okay. And then the other fucking partner in the group was like, oh, if you could do that, then you'd be a higher rank. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> so we played a couple of games of that, and guess who had golds on every single character he played? Yeah. Every, yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, can we get this character? <laughs> Look at Holy shit. Um, His finger's broken back. Um... <laughs> But um yeah, so every time that we every time they're like, Hey, can we get this character? Guess who switched to that character? <laughs> I did, and then I immediately got goals with that character too. Uh, and I it got to the point where they were like, Oh, who has goals? And I was like, Oh, I do. <laughs> and you you could tell they were like, Oh, this guy. But I was like fucking carrying them so they didn't want to kick me. And they were fucking angry because I fucking was right. We follow Hawk, but we don't like him. Psst, good job. He's really fucking annoying. <laughs> Look at Hawk. Is he still behind me? I better not talk shit then. We fucked. He, he wasn't What'd that hard. What'd the American flag do? Oh, yeah. Is it a shawl? I'm expecting it to be a shawl. No? Is it a poncho? Mm -hmm. Is got it an a... item? I... Yeah. Um, it's probably just for wearing this like a shirt. You could wear Maybe it. Birdie? Well, no. He, me and Birdie share the same equipment. You think of yourself as Brad. Try Bo. Huh. No, he wears shawls. Buckets? He wears shawls. Jack? Tiger? Tiger's ponchos. Who the fuck can wear this? Garth? No. It's not an accessory, right? Okay, no. Huh, well. He doesn't even wear a shirt. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, we have it. You're not supposed to see me like this. <laughs> it's looking weird. I guess we just go forward. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the. Shit, we still have less small heels. <laughs> there we go. Um, Here we go. The, you got a mint condition cloth. That's what we need for. for sale? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so they, that was that was like one of my funniest experiences with that, because like that dude, they they were so fucking annoying. But be like, oh, you're not uh, flex enough player, and then fucking, I got go because they he had the audacity to be like, oh, if you could play every single character, you'd be a high rank. And I was like, oh yeah, it's only me that decides my rank in this team based <laughs> video game. <laughs> because the thing with Overwatch, like people will be like, oh, well, you know, you're shitty. That's the reason why you can't say no. The most of the time you lose an award, it is because of your teammates, and you know, fucking. When you hear that the first time, you're like, "Oh, it's you know, people are trying to make excuses for them being bad." But like, no. In Overwatch, if you do not have a good team, you're not winning the fucking game. I have heard nothing. Like, I've heard Overwatch is a really okay game. Yeah. But like, long it's period, it's made good it's because it, the reason why it's so popular is because it's like, hey, look at the differentiated all our heroes. They're not all like you know straight white males and shit like that. I thought I jumped up. Did you say it? We have to fight Hawk again. No, wait. Hold up. Yeah, we were good. We're fucking good. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, we're fucking good. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought we were fucked. 
Alejandro. Remember how I was telling you earlier how I don't look at my characters when I'm fucking in games because I'm used to being able to move right? <laughs> Alright, cool. So what happened is there, I thought I thought I jumped up this, and then I was like, oh yeah, I jumped up again, and then moved to the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. But, uh, yeah. That, that was just definitely one of my funny experiences. But yeah, Overwatch is definitely a game that it, it's, it is a very by-the-books team-based shooter, but it looks good because it has Blizzard polish. And, you know, all the characters are like these people who are like, yeah, look at how different they are, you know? That's pretty much Overwatch and like Call of Duty. So that's why, like, fucking, now that Blizzard's kind of in the shithole, they just released, like, hey, guys, Soldier's gay. Soldier's gay now. Uh, buy the, play the game more, please, please, please play the game. <laughs> We should just teleport back, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, we got two of the four pieces. Four items we need? We need this, we need wood, and we need... We still have a fucking sleeve. <laughs> yeah, we'll find somewhere for him. We got through this door now, right? I think There's we... a lot of doors here. I think we went through that door already. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. I think we haven't been through yet. I'll go through this one down here, cause so we don't lose our place. I believe that's the one we just went through. Yeah, we already went through here, right? Yes. As I stated before. So we get through here. So there's only three doors we haven't been through. Now we see some. Should we heal? We should heal, right? Yes. Save before you sleep. In case something bad happens. Yeah. In case Nern spontaneously combust. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, Overwatch is definitely a game that's only survived as long. And, I mean, the reason why I play it is purely because it's a lot more of a casual game than, like, you know, Paladins is. Because the thing about Paladins is that's a very... I think Paladins is a better game than Overwatch. And, oh, my God, am I going to get crucified if anyone hears me say that? But I think it is a way better game than Overwatch. Purely because the hero balance in that game is a lot better. Horses! Yeah. <laughs> also because of that, too. You don't fucking have to spend, like, 30 seconds, I mean, to get back to the fight every time you die, you know? Yeah. And because of that, in Paladins, you can have two different hero speeds. You can have their... Because in Overwatch, your combat speed is your run speed, you know? Yeah. So you can't really have characters that are like, oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to move a lot, you know? Because you have to move to get back to battle. But in Paladins, you can have a character that's really... What, what? the fuck? We went to a secret area by mistake. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a dojo. This is the toughest dojo yet. Squaw! Wheezy Silver's Kung Fu Gauntlet. Can you even handle my doomsday technique? It'll ruin you, destroy you, totally fuck you up. You think you're man enough? You'll regret this, but okay, proceed. <laughs> I'm taking damage. I, no, I'm not even taking anything. Oh my god. But, uh, yeah, I think Paladins has a lot better balance with the heroes because, I mean, Overwatch, you know, there's hero switching. So, basically, heroes are made to counter other heroes. It's like, oh, you're in problem with this hero? Just go this hero, bro. But in Paladins, you know, you can't do that because there's no hero switching. So, heroes aren't just made to counter other heroes in that game, which is why I think it's a lot better of a game. Also, Paladins is a lot better competitively than Overwatch. Gosh, you are worthy. So I probably don't want to give this karate scroll to Brad, right? Probably not. Doomsday style. Increases everything. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I wanted to say, because of the race, uh, my younger brother always does stuff outside, right? And he, he never wears shoes. He hates wearing shoes outside. Yeah. And we have this metal rake. Oof. And it's like those old kind of rakes that shit. It's not like a bunch of like wire. It's like how the solid. Made sure that some of the rakes are facing the other way. <laughs> it's like solid spikes. And he stepped on it and it went right through his foot. I, I almost went off the cliff there. Did you see that? I fucking. <laughs> my ball shot up inside me for a second. And I was like. <laughs> yeah, you'd imagine that he would start wearing shoes. No. Nope. Oh, fuck shoes. <laughs> I don't think I, yeah, I'm not wearing shoes right now. <laughs> well, I'm wearing shoes because I, I like wearing shoes at other people's houses. This is my house. I don't want to get Alejandro germs. Yeah, those aren't real. You get cat AIDS. <laughs> Welcome to the world of feline AIDS. There we go. Grandma shawl. Grandpa shirt. Cool. So we don't have anyone that wears shirts, right? No. We have people that wear shawls Ooh. and... 
Holy shit! Who's this on? Am I on? Yeah, I'm on Olin. Cool, Olin. Olin, you're the man. Holy shit, that is a 20 increase to defense. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Cool, now if only we had anyone that wore a shirt. <laughs> You wear shirts. I don't fucking know. You don't have anyone that wears shirts. Tiger Man? Buckets? No. No, he no, wears ponchos. Jack? He wears sweatshirts. There we go, he can wear it. Oh, that's not as good as fucking... <laughs> grandma shawl. Yeah, but imagine Nern wearing Grandma shawl. He doesn't need it. That just fits thematically. Does it? Yeah, because Nern's grandma. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh shit. how fun. I think this is the blood forest. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> you know, there's actually trees that bleed when you cut them. That sounds fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay, T Hawk. <laughs> blood coyote. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, what was I talking about? Oh. Um, but yeah, so I played Overwatch and Paladins, and I played a lot more Overwatch and Paladins purely because Overwatch is a lot more casual. I have players, I have friends that play Overwatch that I can play it with, and there's a. Uh, I spent money on Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm much more likely to play a game that I spent money on because I want to just find a purchase. Look through uh, Owen's moves next time you're looking. Go through skills. Look, you can go down. Okay, it's just yeah. vantage point. Yeah, I knew I didn't know. <gasps> but yeah, that's purely like the only reason I play it. It's just because like that. Got some wins with. And then uh, now it's it's just been thing with Paladins is that um um it gets updated a lot. Like the developers of the game are a lot more active than Overwatch is for Bl or Blizzard is for Overwatch. Yeah. So, like, trying to get back into Paladins after being gone for, like, six months to a year like I have, it's insanely difficult. Because there's all these new heroes you've never seen before, you know? There's, like, a new meta and shit like that. There's new stages. <laughs> kind of like, I have no idea what the fuck's happening when I get back in Overwatch <laughs> or getting back in Paladins. Meanwhile, in Overwatch, they don't fucking change anything. <laughs> Why are you going back? I was trying to look around. What's this music? This is good music. This, this is jazz for the soul. <laughs> what jazz Native American music? Hell yeah. It's the anthem of Oklahoma. <laughs> Actually, Olith is in Oklahoma. Really? I don't know. I was about to say, that's weird. It's weird. Where, where's the dude to develop this game? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he um... I believe he's not American. Well, is he not American? Is he Is he a Brit? I, I don't know. Uh, I think he goes by Daily. In my eyes, there's only three places. America, Britain, and then Japan. <laughs> His name is Austin Jorgensen, which implies Norwegian. Norwegian? This is a Norwegian game? Maybe. Weird. Oh, but Carter, is it anime if it looks like anime? I mean... Is it, Carter? I guess. <laughs> That was like a legit. That was like a legit um thing going on in the anime community for a while. You remember Shelter? Yeah. Um, people were like, "Is this anime? <laughs> Does it count as anime?" Because the dude who made it's an American. Um, what? But, the, what do you think? Uh, if it looks like it, it, it is. <laughs> like if it has an anime style, then it, if it has an anime aesthetic, then it's anime. I, it doesn't give a shit where you're from. Because everyone's like, "Oh, because you know Shelter." You look at that shit for the first time, you're like, "Oh, this is an anime." But then you're like, oh, but it actually was made in America, therefore it's a fucking cartoon. It's They're saying like... some ominous ass shit. Are they? Yeah. That's like he said something about someone birthing someone else. Oh, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna have a space baby. <laughs> shit. This guy's got cheekbones. Oh shit, this dude, this dude looks like a JoJo character. <laughs> What's his name? Uh. Bloodhawk. <laughs> <laughs> There's just fucking Indians everywhere, and then Native Americans, Carter. That's racist. <laughs> and the Nerns on a stool. <laughs> I like to imagine we just um, one of them just carries Nern around. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I refuse to move. <laughs> they got a dragon.
I should realize, is Nern faster than Olin now? Yeah. That's really good, actually. He said his song will make us something, but then you fucking skipped it. I'm, I'm sorry. Fucking, I, I'm used to in JRPGs just kind of skipping through people's end dialogue, because you're like, Re, I've been defeated. Re, I've been defeated. <laughs> We do make a game that's gonna be one of the it's gonna be the it's gonna be the quote for all the trash halls. Re I've been defeated. Oh, I'm a smart. See, I knew that last time if I were to go up it'd be the right way. That means if I go down this time it'd be the right way. There he is. Boop. That's where we can get the wood. Oh yeah, really? Oh yeah, there's the one tree left. We so wait, to... there's trees that actually bleed? Yeah. Why they do that? It's not actual blood. It's just fluid that's very similar. The painted sky should tell you everything. She does not belong to you. This is the last blood moon tree. I shall not. I shall not let you take her. Oh, he's floating. Great. Oh no. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the. Oh uh, shit. I'm gonna deep poison. I need you to increase Birdie for his TP, and then I need Birdie to some joy. It's weird as shit. Yeah. Nature's awesome. Damn, nature, you scary. <laughs> nature is scary, though. That's guy's push over. He doesn't do a lot. If you aren't doing above a thousand damage per hit, are you even doing anything? <laughs> that seems to be eight hundred. What is it? Four times it? Four percent times eight hundred? What poison is it? Is it deep? Deep, deep poison. Yeah, yeah. four percent. So this guy isn't that. Uh, isn't he? Isn't that strong? Well, Looks like I got a little bitch in my parlor. <laughs> he's no Hawk Hollywood. Ooh, let's uh, let's have Brad fucking wreck shop. <laughs> I grabbed one of his weights, guys. Stop fucking with the weights, Carter. I like holding them. They're heavy. Yeah, <laughs> they're weights. <laughs> you know, in Norse mythology, uh, Mjolnir wasn't like only holdable by Thor because he was worthy. It was just so fucking heavy that he had to wear a special belt. Back in Norse mythology, oh, we won. <laughs> Back in Norse mythology, Mjolnir wasn't even a hammer. It was just like an actual tree. <laughs> Thor's like, this tree is mine, and just picks it up off the ground. Chop down the tree is what? <laughs> Your face. Uh oh. The sky changed. Go save. Why do you always save twice? Just in case one of the fonts gets corrupted. Skirt. Head to the right. Skirt. Skirt. I wonder if there's anything past the mountain. It doesn't look like there is. Alright, let's head home, boys. Cool. This was in an area that exists. Yep. Uh, there's two more places we have to go now, right? Yes. Yeah. We have to get Weird, to I was expecting like, another boss to be like, You, I am the Lorax! <laughs> I am the Lorax. That would have been way funnier. I'm legit. I was like, yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> it's just some fucking hairy ass dude. He's like, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. And meanwhile, he's like, he has a tree attached to his back. <laughs> That's something else. I was like, oh, this guy changed. So, who's your favorite so character? Uh, <laughs> it sounded like he was about to go for Nern, but then. He regretted his choice. Who's my favorite character? Um, who's the guy with my motorcycle? You hit? Yeah. Who's Rando? The, Rando, he's my favorite. Um, partner wise, it's either Nern or Olin. Nern, because he's funny, and Olin, because I mean, like, look at the dude. <laughs> he's, he's, he, the he's, son he's of, gonna kick anyone's ass. I'll even kick my own ass. He's the son of Chinese immigrants. Oh, that means he's stronger. He's a plus 20% racial bonus. 20% to what? I don't know. <laughs> and I believe his favorite food is whipped cream. What is whipped cream? It's, you know what cream is? Yeah, no. Actually, what is cream? Cream's like solid milk. Oh. So what you're saying is, I don't need dairy. I can just eat whipped cream. I mean, no. If I like, if my only dairy is whipped cream, could I survive without any other dairy? Because like, so let's say I hate milk and I don't have access to yogurt. I mean, I guess... 
I get my bones to become strong if I just coat them in whipped cream. Okay, actually, the dairy helps the bones. Debate is a debate. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I, I don't drink any dairy. <laughs> scientists aren't really sure anymore. How, what? I need yep. not be sure. Who wears glasses? Maybe it's an accessory. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm, a, I'm an art hard. See who, what it does. It helps you hit things, but it reduces your coolness. <laughs> Regardless of it. <laughs> so uh, it increases your chance to So I want to point out, look how much defense my belt's giving me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Holy shit. Do we want to give this to someone else? They gave you 80 defense. Do we want to give this to someone else, honestly? If you want, you can give Brad the glasses. <laughs> no, he, he, Brad, I can't, I can't have Brad not being cool. I mean, I don't... I guess it's good to keep Brad alive. Yeah. Brad's the fireball man. Yeah, and to be fair, everyone else has, like, you know, the, the tag team belts. Yeah. Alright, cool. Interesting. Um, I, forgot the f I forgot anything I was talking about. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean that it's debate? I thought it was, like, confirmed that dairy helps your bones, because isn't it calcium? Nope. It's debatable whether it actually helps your bones anymore. We haven't done enough tests. What the fuck? Where'd snow land? Yeah, I was like, that has TNT on him. What the fuck? What kind of asshole sends a guy with TNT? <gasps> Shit. Oh god, these guys do like 500 damage. Dude, who the fuck is sending suicide bombers after me? Is he infinitely spawning? Okay. It's like some Mario World shit. Yeah, this is... <laughs> the fuck? I guess people really just don't have anything to lose anymore. In the world of Lisa. Hey, I don't know the explosion hitbox is. <laughs> Are they accurate? It doesn't no, look they're like not me. accurate, okay. I was like, is this some fighting game hitboxes shit? <laughs> Weird. This is neat. I like this. This fucking... <laughs> I want to see who's sending these guys. <laughs> They're just waiting. They're just waiting here. just like, someone's here. <laughs> yeah. They have to have frostbite on their nipples, right? Oh, yeah. What? These are tough guys. They don't have nipples. They cut them off. Yeah. Their nipples were uh, messing with. This is a fucking soy with a gun! <laughs> Go fight him! Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ow, ooh, nerd. You take the mystery jerky, young man. <laughs> young man. Let's get down to business. <laughs> and if he dons. Yep. <laughs> it's a, right, so you're gonna wanna it's a snowman with a gun! <laughs> Armed snowman. My worst enemy. Gun wielding snowman. <laughs> snowman straight in is revealed. <gasps> Who is he? It's fucking the <gasps> dude from Thing. Oh, he's dead. I guess we don't get to find out who he was. Was I supposed to kill him slowly? I don't know. Probably not. All right, this guy probably has a gun. So, watch your ass. Ooh, what's in there? I'll come back. Or right. don't want to do that now. Uh, well, left is always right. So go right. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, Master. I didn't mean, mean to make you mad. You recognize him? No. He's the kid. Oh, He's shit. Him. I'm fucking hallucinating. Yeah. Notice his face. Cool. <laughs> was it beat up? I actually didn't see it. It was bandaged. I thought he was wearing a beehive. <laughs> what? I, I don't know. Fucking, this game is weird as shit. I thought he was wearing a beehive. That's a good idea for a thing, though. Why do I keep running? Ow! Fight me, bitch! <laughs> I'll kick your ass! I'll kick your ass with my own ass! That was the thing in fucking Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> he'll, he'll kick your ass with his gigantic feet, and then he'll and then he'll um kick your feet with his gigantic ass. <laughs> <laughs> you need goodies by Fireball. My sweet wife, God rest her soul. Sweet lemon tea. 
Hello, my name is Nern. It is I, Nern. So we got fucking exploding guys and then stomach with guns. It's all the ambushes here. Fight me, bitch. <laughs> I just I just grab the bull with my teeth like what? <laughs> Superman. Superman do that? Yeah, he catches bolts with his teeth. Why? To show that he can. <laughs> Isn't he like resistant <laughs> to bullets? <laughs> Can't he just go like what? <laughs> just fucking flex the bullets. If you pay attention in the old Superman serials, whenever uh, the guys would shoot Superman and the bolts would bounce off him, then they throw the gun at him and he dodged the gun. So what you're saying is I can hit Superman with a sword. No. <laughs> what you're saying is that swords will do damage to Superman. That's not what I'm saying, but... Yeah. Alright, guys. It's I'm obvious that Superman. I could defeat Superman with my katana. What are we... Oh, we're gonna get to see one of my favorite Here's, characters. We... We've been recording for 40 minutes. Oh, shit! What did we do this episode? <laughs> I don't remember. How's it been 40 minutes? <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll pick up next time. <laughs> shit i looked over i was like did we like forget to stop recording between episodes <laughs> all right i'll be right back